Hello everyone. It's time for our daily devotion from Joyce Rep's The Cup of Our Life. Uh, we're continuing the theme of this week, which is the cup of compassion. And I was really drawn to uh, day six reflection, which is uh, the cup of being. And there's a wonderful quote at the beginning that I really, really loved uh, by Abraham Heschel. It says, just to be is a blessing. Just to live is holy. Unfortunately, for us to be uh, connected to that idea that it's just holy to be living, we often have to go through something very difficult. I remember I was much more conscious after uh, nearly dying from kidney failure uh, of what that meant, that I had a different point of view of that as a 16-year-old than a lot of the 16-year-olds around me. The same thing was true uh, when my best friend passed away. And uh, even after uh, the tragedy we experienced with Dave, I learned the importance of normal, of things being really boring and that being good news. And uh, currently right now, we're all uh, experiencing uh, that now that we wish uh, things could be what normal used to be. And this is our new normal. Um, and it also reminds us that some of us are being asked uh, that our being uh, is being asked to stay at home, uh, that that's the greatest contribution we can be doing, that uh, our ability to stay still, uh, to stay in when we want to get out, when we want to do other things. I also recognize that other people's uh, being right now is to go out, um, uh, to be where they are most needed um, every day, all day at this point. Um, but her devotion also uh, reminds us the importance of presence. Um, uh, sometimes people call who have to go to the hospital or visit someone and they don't know what to say. They say, I don't know what to say. Something terrible has happened. And I said, you know, you don't have to say anything. Sometimes the best thing uh, is to remain silent. It's that you're there, that you showed up. Um, I think we often think we have to know the exact right thing to do, the exact right thing to say, um, the situation to, to um, create, uh, when in fact sometimes uh, the very best thing we can do is simply to um, show up where we are needed. And as I said, those places where we are needed are, are very different right now. And I think in the future, uh, we're going to be asked to be present for people who had to go out right now. Um, and uh, be present and willing to listen and just be able to um, hold what it is they, they may need to share with us. So um, today I invite you to uh, sit deeply within the cup of your being, whatever that may be today. If that uh, burden is heavy, I pray that God lightens it for you. Um, if uh, the burden is uh, not as heavy, I, I in invite you to recognize what an honor that is. Um, and as always, uh, to look around us and be filled with awe and wonder that we exist at all, that we wander around on such a beautiful planet fulfilled with extraordinary uh, creatures and plants and trees and systems and um, filled with diversity and beauty all around us even when things seem so hard right now. Um, it is the both and. Um, we are vulnerable and we are also extraordinary. Um, we can be both things at once. Um, so let us celebrate the holiness of our being, whatever that being looks like for us today and in the coming days. In that spirit, let's go to God in prayer. God, you are the great I am. We exist because you exist, because you breathed us into being, and you called each and every one of us good, very, very good. May we be reminded today the gift of life, both how precious it is, how vulnerable it is, but also how extraordinary one human life can be. 
some by staying in, some by going out. Our ability to be present for one another, again, makes us unique as humans. May we be present for those that we need to be present for today. May we be prepared to be present for those that may need us in the future. And may we be constantly aware that your presence is with us always that you are filling us with the strength and the peace that we need because we may not be able to find it ourselves. And we trust that you are pouring it out into us and into all of the world. We ask all these things in the beautiful name of our Savior, Jesus Christ, who loves us exactly the way we are. Amen. As always, I invite you to be safe and to be well.